an obvious tale of two halves for the Bearcats yesterday against Xavier. Unfortunately, it felt like the spark came just a little too late. Let's get into it. I'm Reagan, and this is From the Logo. A tough start for Cincinnati, going nearly five minutes before seeing a shot be made. The Bearcats took 12 threes in the first half and only made three of those, shooting just 26% with eight points in the paint. A half that fell flat with no real intensity or grit, going into the locker room trailing by 17. A Bearcat legend was in the building yesterday. Kenyon Martin was able to meet the team in the locker room and in David DeJulius' words, get on their ass. An obvious turning point for Cincinnati as they came out with vigor and what felt like more of a will to win. The Bearcats put together a 7-0 run, which included an electric Landers Nolly dunk with 7-13 left in the second half cutting the Musketeers' lead 63-56. to Uguama even getting in on the action with a pair of dunks of his own. But DeJulius was really the heartbeat of this team towards the end here. Xavier was up 11 points with 3.04 to go, and he scored 10 points to fuel a 12-1 to run to tie it up with 11 seconds left. Xavier was able to draw a foul on Lockin, forcing him out of the game and the Musketeers to the free throw line with 1.4 seconds remaining. Xavier making the first, allowing them to intentionally miss the second free throw, forcing Coach Miller to make a tough decision and what felt like the last shred of hope for the Bearcats. Rebound the free throw and throw up a heave and a prayer from full court or call an excessive timeout and inbound the ball. The strategic call was the best decision to allow the Bearcats a chance, but unfortunately didn't work. Xavier walking away with the win, 80 to 77. Cincinnati outscored the Musketeers in the second half, 53 to 39, with 26 points in the paint and shooting 56%. DeJulius led with 22 points, 17 of those coming in the second half, followed by Victor Lockin with 16. Glimmers of identity are peeking through occasionally, but the Bearcats have to start out stronger and put it together for two halves if they want to enter into conference play strong by the end of the month. The Bearcats take on Miami Wednesday at 5th 3rd. I'm Reagan, and that was From the Logo.